we'll come back out here and check this area because this looks like prime nesting grounds, you know? It's about maybe, that might be an appetizer for all of us. It's about 10 of us. It's a burrow created from iguanas digging. I'm sure, look underneath, they're probably in there, huh? Yep. Long day of working. Go ahead, get us our harvest. Look at that. Now, speaking of chicken, guys, all right, one of my favorite dishes that I like to cook personally when I got a little bit of time. It's just an old fashioned, but you can't beat a good barbecue. Another Welcome one. to oh. my world. Oh. Some people call me Raj, and some people call me the Iguana <laughs> Man. We go on all different jobs here in South Florida, battling invasive species and other nuisance wildlife, helping local businesses, residents, and homeowner associations. Serving our clients is our passion and is what we live for. Like, comment, and hit the red subscribe yeah, button if you're new. Many, uh, Thanks for joining us, and hope to see you out here in the field with us soon. Yes, sir. Another one in the back. This is what you come to Florida for right there. Hey, welcome back, guys. Iguana Man here, and we are back out in the field to do some more Iguana removal. We got Big Will. What's going on, man? All right, bro. All right. You seen you guys on uh, Facebook and thought we'd uh, give the boys a little switch up instead of fishing. Different adventure. Got these new air guns, so we're going to put them to use with you today. Let's go, Jack. Hey, Rob. Nice to meet you. What about you, yeah, man? Nicholas. Yeah. Favorite fish you guys like to catch? A uh, largemouth bass. Hey, Bear Monday or flounder man he's flounder. a flounder man he's a flounder knocker a shout out to air force air guns for uh sponsoring this hunt check out these new air rifles that we got we're going to be testing them out out in the field i know you guys do a lot of fishing right yes sir is that, is that what it is yeah we take foster kids and kids with no fathers do a uh, big fishing uh, up to 50 kids so, at a time so you guys have your own organization in yeah take kid fishing Inc. yes sir a lot of respect to big will and his organization take a kid fishing inc these guys are doing God's work by taking underprivileged kids, children with special needs, and also kids with foster care out fishing. You guys go ahead and check them out. These guys are heroes in my book. I do some fishing later, but today we're gonna be taking some kids. Iguana. Exactly. All right, so guys, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna follow the man, the myth. The reason they call him the Iguana Ninja, there's a couple different reasons, but the main reason, all right, he has many different skills, but the main skill that he has, guys, is he, he can catch iguana, he's very sneaky. Basically he can get the iguana, the iguana has no idea he's coming. But not only that, right? He's got eyes that he can spot iguanas high up in the canopies, all over the place. He's a seasoned veteran out here and he knows these back of the woods better than anybody else out here. So we're gonna be following him. You guys respect his commands, take his guides. And if you guys have any questions, he's the man to ask, all right? All right, gentlemen, today, the objective is to bust iguanas matas. To get a direct uh, kill shot, straight in the head, you could shoot them in the eye, that would take out the giants immediately. So it would be a humane shot, and that's all we want. Gun safety, if you guys aren't shooting, safety, guns in the air, or point them to the ground. Everybody be safe, let's have a good hunt. Let's get it done. All right, guys. I think CJ has found one already. It's on that tree. You probably can't see it from here. Oh yeah, I do, I do, I do. It's right on that tree. See like where the, where the palms are dead? Right. You see it's, yeah. it's hanging, it's hanging right there on that tree right there. Yeah. He's nah, right here. Get it, grab him CJ. I know it's hard to see this guy. Oh, there it is. Cool, cool. Alright. Come on, boys. Some bigger one. Hey, great eye, CJ. Thank you, thank you. Great eye. I don't know how he saw that, man. That boy got some great vision. I, I, if 2020 is the best vision, this man got like 40 40, I promise you. The later we get on into the day, the more we'll, to come out. The more we'll start to see them on the ground and all that stuff. This whole vast grassland of, of just what, whatever, like all these trees, all those coconut trees over there, cool. loaded, loaded. That whole bush thing right there, cool. loaded, huh? full of iguanas. Got yeah. Oh, that was like. Yep. That's a nice one, an orange one, huh? You chicken? Look at them frog legs, boy. We're gonna see it right there. Down on the radar. It's all right. 
I'm gonna try to hold it. And you take the shot whenever you're ready. Woo! Got it. Ooh, That's what I'm talking that. about. That thing on the money, boy. That's yeah! What I'm... Holy moly. <laughs> Oh, he's down, dude. Let's, there should be some more, so let's let's put this one right here. Let's bye, find bye, some bye. more. Nice. I hope everyone saw that. Some over here that are starting to get rowdy, so let's let's get to it. Yeah. We're gonna see some more. Frond arm, uh, I think kind of going him. in the water. He's uh -huh. to the right. Oh, yeah. I see him. I see him. Oh, that one. Oh, there's a there's a one there's a one further out. There, there's another one. I want come up, come up, because they're gonna feel safe by the water's edge. There's a green on top of it, right? Yeah. He's like sticking oh, out his right gobbler. Right yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh. Oh. That was a nice shot, dude. Shaking, look out. There it is. Guys, so they're hanging out all in this, right area. yep, right in this area, all in this debris. It's perfect for them. Big one. Oh, what? Look at that joker. Oh, Woo! Nice shot. Yeah. This one. Yep, just come back want. nice and easy. Okay, okay. Nice. That's what I'm talking about right there. Nice recovery, man. Yeah. Look at that dragon. Hey, nice recovery, Jack. Nice recovery, CJ. Oh, it's missing a foot. Oh, smack, it really is. Look at that, whoa. Probably scrapping with another iguana. Show it to these guys right here. He's missing a whole foot. Out of everyone we put our, our sights on, in the bag. We got them. That's a, that's a burrow created from iguanas digging. I'm sure. Look underneath. They're probably in there, huh? Yep. 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 All right. He's got it. Uh, we got to do what we got to do. Nicely done, man. young man. <laughs> if I'm Nicely not a done. bender, I'm a metal bender or something. All right. Check it out right here, man. We're filling up this wheelbarrow. The boys, first day on the job with us. And man, we are taking care of business. Look at all these little raptors we got. Man, this is good right here because we're fixing to do a barbecue later. But we got to get a, a lot more meat though because it's a lot of us. And I don't know about you. Shoot, I got a big appetite. That's about maybe, that might be an appetizer for all of us. It's about 10 of us. Yo, hey. Spiny tail iguana, dude. Try and turn my phone off. In this area, yeah. It's a different type of iguana. CJ Day Just hit me up, hit me up on Instagram. Yeah, there was a spiny tail iguana in there. Different type. He's in the rocks though, somewhere hiding. Maybe we'll see when we come back. The pond is right over there. But you see all these mounds? Like when it's time for the iguanas to lay eggs. They might use that as a substrate to like lay the eggs inside there. Yep. So we'll have to come back out here during egg season. It's pretty crazy. We've seen it before. So when we come back, like when we know that they have eggs and they're digging, we'll come back out here and check this area because this looks like prime nesting grounds, you know? And literally we can like dig them out. Like the female, like the iguanas will be stuck in there. We can like literally dig them out. Yep. Yeah, is there one right there? Is there anyone? No. Oh, 
if I do have to say so myself, I just shot one out. Yo, a lot of respect and love to Big Will and Take a Kid Fishing Inc. A lot of respect and love for what these guys do for the community. Check them out. See them right there posted up on that on that fence or that sign. At places where it can't shoot, just use the pole. Gotcha. Got it. Fly fishing, baby. <laughs> oh, shoot. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Oh. Just calm down. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Where'd he go? Oh, he's there. Oh, whoa. 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 All right. Gone. Check him out. Check him out. He's fighting. <laughs> yeah. Is he towards our side? Iguana fly fishing. That's right. We got a fly pole rigged up with a snare. This big old crappie rod here. Check this out. Here, Bubba, hold on there. Grab a hold of it, Bubba. Rod, how are we catching these iguanas now? All right, super simple, man. Right here, we got what it looks to be like a fly rod, 16, 20 foot long. And we got some like really strong construction rope right here. Probably got a breaking strength of maybe, I don't know, maybe 80, 100 pounds. But look, here's the secret right here. Right at the edge, we got this lasso made out of mono. So the whole game plan is we're gonna try to sneak up on the iguana and put that right over his head. And once we do, boom, try to close it on him. Yeah, I might put him in a forever sleep. Oh, he's moving. So we'll go for his buddies. We got him. We got him. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's going nuts. Come here, man. Come here, buddy. We got a couple of questions for you. Got to use whatever we can to, you know, keep them under control. Yep, grab it. Yep. Once you put it on them, you can kind of let go of some line once you set it. I heard of that. I think they put like a ring around here, or they like train them to like not swallow the fish whole, just keep it in their gullet. And then when they come back to the boat, they spit it regurgitate. Oh, there's like thirty. There's like I don't think they're fully swallowing. There's like two of them in like that now. But Jesus, look at that big one. Look, there's another one in there. It's kind of hanging out. Yeah. See, that's like a little bit bigger than that, but that one, that that's kind of big. That, that, oh, that big orange one? Yeah. Listen, if I was allowed to jump in the waters, I'd try, trust me, I'd... Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Nah, they won't, they won't allow me. I used to he's got it. it. When I was growing up, I used to jump in these canals all the time. Good job, man. Either or not. That's why most of us... Ah, nah, got you. Right got you, buddy. It's water's always... Hey, but check this out. Look it's right behind really us. Look what these iguanas are doing out here. Get us, Jack. Look at that. You see, you see there's holes right here on this tennis court. Man, if you were to take one guess how, how that happened, what would you think? Well, I'm, I'm guessing the iguanas because I mean, like, it's kind of obvious. Right, right, right. So that's the main uh, problem out here is they, at first they were digging underneath it, but they filled it up. Now it seems like they're digging on top of it to go back in. So chances are there's some type of nest or burrow under there. How many eggs do you think uh, iguana can lay, man? Maybe like six, seven, max. Try that times 10. Jeez, 60. Yeah, like that, like little ping pong balls. They're small and they got a semi-soft shell. Summertime, that's whenever we can come in and catch all the adults, right? Exactly, exactly. Mike, follow me, just Mike. keep walking straight. No, 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 no. Follow me, follow me, follow me. 
Come around, Matt. Come around, Matt. Come around, Matt. All right, go, go, go. Put your arms out. Yep, put your arms out. Yep, now put it right on his head. You're on there. Pull, pull, pull. All right, keep him up. Keep him up. Nice. <laughs> nice catch. Whoa. You can do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shoot. Oh, my gosh. That's dangerous. It's a little dangerous. Hands are a little full. But we got him. Oh, man, this guy's feisty. Come on, guys. Iguanas are super invasive species out here in South Florida, and they're causing hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage per year, per city, to uh, infrastructure, important stuff, and it's really also causing havoc uh, on the native wildlife out here because taking over the territory, taking over the food, birds, bees, butterflies are supposed to be in uh, the fauna, the trees, eating the flowers, pollinating the flowers. With these iguanas here, they literally have an appetite of destruction. Eat almost every plant, and then wherever birds are supposed to be, in the trees or owls underground, they're taking over that territory too. So we gotta go ahead and get them out of here. How'd you see that small where we were? Day working. Go ahead, get us our harvest. Look at that. Yes, sir, we bob. That right there, my friends, is called the chicken of the trees. Look at all those iguanas. Mm. All right. Now, speaking of chicken, guys, all right, one of my favorite dishes that I like to cook personally when I got a little bit of time, it's just an old fashioned, but you can't beat a good barbecue. So that's what we're gonna be doing today with some of these tree chickens right here. Gonna go ahead, clean them, uh, dress them up, marinate them a little bit, and just, you know, throw these lizards on the grill, fire roast them, and then of course, just slather them with some nice American barbecue sauce. It's gonna be a good way to end the day, especially all the hard work that we put in today. So let's go ahead, we're gonna start cleaning some up, and we'll see you guys at the barbecue. Look at that. Man. What's one, what's one of your favorite parts that you see today? Jowls. These things right here. Some people say it reminds them of scallops, but uh, I'm not a scallop kind of guy. I'm an iguana cheap kind of guy. John Wick skin. There you go. Yeah, there it there is. There it is. Wash them and season them up. He's going to be ready for the grill. Now that we cleaned the iguana, it's time to season them up. This here, Cajun two step. Next side. Want to be very generous with this lizard. Make sure he is fully seasoned. He's gonna taste the best for our guests. Why'd you soak it in vinegar? I soaked in a little vinegar just to clean it. Take out some of that gaminess or that freshness, if there would, if there would be any. Like how you would a turkey. We are chicken of the trees. You want to season it up just like how you would a chicken. Pineapple on that iguana. Mm. Man, imagine just having seasoning on the pineapple. I'll probably just get pineapple on top. We're gonna just put that just like that. Add a little bit more seasoning. So hopefully you get a little, oh God, more a little bit more, a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of uh, sweetness from the pineapple, a little bit of smokiness from the grill, and a little bit of you know freshness from the iguana. I mean, he was in a tree about what? Hour ago? 15,000 
a hundred. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. That I had my bog on last, though. Mark. Yep, it's perfect. All right, real quick. All right, so here we are. Now I know what to do. You first. I have gave my token on my butt. Okay, one out of one out of twenty chances of butt. One out of right. thirty. <laughs> The heat up. Let it do its thing. It's good. Mm. That's what I call a fire roasted lizard. Fire friend. roasted lizard right here in South Florida. Like I said, y'all just try a piece. That's really it. Damn, Damn boy. boy. There you go. Got plates. Got barbecue sauce. Good. I got a piece of tail right here, young man. It's all whatever works for you, really. Oh yeah. 100%, man. Huh? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Over over there. We've been saying that though. All day. Oh, day. Look at this family gathering. A two step on there, boy. A two step flapping on the cracker. Mm. I've always thought it tastes like a mix of chicken Give him a break. Chicken and break. pork. Yeah. Lizard teacher on. <laughs> man, I need to follow a guana man, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, we want to give a special thanks to everybody that came out here. Made this hunt successful, we made it happen. <laughs> Went out there in the field, took out some of those invasive lizards. Woo. Ended up throwing one of those jokers on the barbecue. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Two step, bro. You can try to eat that.